Welcome to TechieJack. In this video, we will see how to add the user account and host domain in CWP control panel. So let's log into the CWP admin and get started. So now I am going to log into my CWP control panel. So we are going to add an account and host a domain name. So for that, we have to go to the user accounts. And if we see the domain, if I click on list domains, right now we do not have any domains or neither we have any account if i click on list accounts it is empty so only we have configured the name server and dns so if we go to the list account we have nothing here what we have to do we have to click on new account and here you have to put the domain name that is testingo.in this will be a username as a testing and this is a password and this is a admin email we have set and we have a shared IP and make sure the server IP should be here like shared IP and you have to choose the package right now there is a default package so I will select the default package and we are not going to make it a reseller you can select the language from here I will keep it as default but if you want you can set the inode as well it is set because the default package has unlimited inode you can see that limit i note 0 for unlimited 0 means unlimited if you put the value here it will limit the i nodes and process limit is 40 and open file limit is 150 this comes inside the default package we will see the package later but the default package has these settings backup user account if you don't want automatically to backup it you can unselect it but let's select it and let's create the account you can see the account has been created and these are the details like IP address is this domain is testing.in username is testing this is a password you can connect with the FTP with these settings and the panel is this you can just copy these settings and you can send it to the user and one more important thing is that the name server should be ns1.testingo.in ns2.testingo.in for this domain let me close this and if we go to the list account you can see the account is created here domain is this ip address is this and make sure that this domain should have a name server ns1.testingo.in which we have already set here so if we go to the website you can see right now it is showing us a ssl error so now the account has been created for the domain testingo.in we have to wait until the dns is propagated properly if we check the DNS propagation site and if I check for the host A record you can see it is pointing to our IP that is fine and some of the area it is not replicated if I go to the name server you can click on search and you can see ns1 testingo.in and ns2.testingo.in is there and it will be replicated quickly now and if we go back to our CWP panel and if you see the DNS function you can click on list zone you can see testingo.in zone has been created and all the required records are there you can see all the required records are there name server are there it will help to open the default page now if we go to the list domain it is empty because it is a root domain if a user will add another domain to this account it will show here let's go back to the user account and list account and from here if you want to open the control panel for the user you can open it from here you need to put the username and password for the user for an example the user is testing if you want to change the password you can change it from here and let's confirm this password change for testing and if I try to log in here you can see the user is logged in here this is a user dashboard user will see this dashboard and you have all these functions here antivirus scanner directory protection file manager ftp log viewer there are plenty of features inside the user control panel from here you can see the usage bandwidth email account database domain and file management so let me log out from here and if we see the website here testingo.in right now it is showing us ssl error in our next video, we will see how to install the SSL for our domain and host name. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.
and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.